Oh, I forgot the camp. I forgot the camp seat. That'll do it. <laughs> this is negative in the numerator. We're gonna put it in the denominator, and then since x to the negative 5 is negative in the denominator, we're going to put that in the numerator. So, <coughs> yeah, I like simplify both of them, not realizing that it's a y and an x. Uh, huh? So I got y, I got 6y to the 2 over 5x. Hmm. How? I have <laughs> no idea. Because beaver on the log. Okay, so right. y is negative in the numerator, we put it in the denominator. x is negative in the denominator, we put it in the numerator. Now we will keep change flip. So keep change and flip. And we're doing this because division is multiplying by the reciprocal. Wait, what did you change? Oh, you changed the sign. Yeah. So we're multiplying by the reciprocal. You flip a Now, numbers <coughs> 5 cancels with 5. And three goes into six twice. Okay, so after that, I have x squared over y squared times y cubed over two x to the fifth. Now we cancel letters. So I can cancel two y's with two y's. So I'd have y to the one. You can't cancel all of them. I have two x's and five x's. So that means I can cancel two of them. And then I'd be left with three. So remaining, we have one y on the numerator, and then two x cubed in the denominator, and that's it. <coughs> the numerator of this fraction is going to be more difficult to factor because there's a 2 in front of the x squared, so we can't just do what we were doing before. So I factor by grouping. Again, if you just do this in your head, you can do it in your head, but I'm going to factor by grouping. Okay. So I'm going to do that like over here. I don't, I factored the first problem, but the second problem is weird because it's cute. And we'll get there. We're just going to wait. So it. we usually multiply 2 times negative 4. That gives us negative, negative eight. 8. And then we're looking for factors of negative 8. eight that will eight. give us 7. Okay, so there's not too many. The two that add to 7 positive are these two. So negative 1 and 8. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2x squared minus 1x plus 8x minus 4 so that I can factor by grouping. And then I'm going to look at this as two groups. So here I can factor out an x, and I get 2x minus 1. Watch your snake. Here I can factor out a 4, and I get 2x minus 1. See, I just got x plus 8x minus 1. Is, it, is that wrong? And then my two factors what? are x plus 4 and 2x <laughs> minus 1. So if you did it differently and you got those factors, then that's fine. Did you do it differently you so got the same factors? I just, yeah. got, I yeah. I just like... Then it's fine. I just skipped some stuff. So, okay. So right here I'm going to put my like rewritten problem. So in the numerator, I should have <coughs> x plus 4 and 2x minus 1. The bottom, you can just like factor on the x. <coughs> All right, so let's look at the bottom. Negative First, x. you can factor out an x, and you get 1 <coughs> minus x squared. Wait, can you just factor the negative x entirely and just have an x squared plus 1? Sure. So if you factor out x a negative 1, one that allows you to switch the binomial <coughs> around. Yeah, that's what I did. And then after you do that, you would want to factor the difference of squares. And so that would go here. So negative x, x plus 1, and x minus 1. <coughs> Like I said, <laughs> this is like... Yeah, I just don't like the top one because I forget how to do that. Well, it's like cute. It's so easy. <coughs> You're going to be like, oh, that's so easy. Let's do the bottom one first. What do we do? Uh, you factor out a 3. That's it. So you just four. factor out a 3 to get x plus 4. So that one's easy. This one's easy too. All you do for the top one, first you just take out an x. Right. Oh, yeah. And then after you take out an x, what's left is just like a regular... Uh, trinomial that so you can factor. So it would just be negative five. Uh huh, negative five and then positive one. So that goes here. My work just got progressively messier as these problems got longer. <laughs> okay. 
So yeah, factor, factor, factor. That's the hardest part is just getting all the factors correct and making sure that you factored everything completely. Because if you don't factor completely, then you're not going to cancel completely. And then it's just not, not going to be done. It's not going to be simplified. So vertically, nothing, nothing. X but plus four add, I can do the x plus four is diagonally. And I can do the x plus ones this way. But that's about it. Mm, there's one axes. more thing. Oh, the x. Yeah, negative negative x and x. So you can't cancel the negative sign. You just leave the negative yeah, one. But you can cancel one. this x guy with this x guy. Right. So that those guys sense. will cancel. The x-men. All right, so what I have left is 2x minus 1 over negative x minus 1. And then over here, I have x minus 5. That sounds great. Over three. So overall, it'll be two x minus one, x minus five. So two x minus one times x minus <coughs> five, all over. <coughs> I'm gonna put the negative sign and the three together. Oh, I so missed negative the three and then x minus one, and then we would like multiply all that, boil and whatnot. So that would give me two x squared negative. 10 and negative 1 is negative 11x. This is going to be positive 5. Down here we distribute and get negative 3x plus 3. Ta-da! How did you use factor though? Foil. Foil. 